CBD for dogs has become a really big product and I think CBD has become a huge market for us pet owners in recent years mostly because it's kind of coinciding with the kind of era of legalization in the United States. I first got into the topic of CBD because I have a lot of fear of Mochi, my dog, getting epilepsy because my last dog had very severe epilepsies and CBD has been, you know, trialed re in recent years in connection to being a kind of treatment for epilepsy. And I also got into the topic even more deeply when recently Mochi, in, you know, when he got a little bit older, became a little bit anxious of car rides, only long car rides. And that's when I stumbled upon CBD oil for dogs. And at first I was like, okay, is this natural? Is this safe? Because I'll be honest, I had no idea anything about it. But the more I researched, the more I became, you know, very pro CBD for dogs. So to give a quick overview, a majority of vets actually say that CBD has a place in medicine for animals and that it has really promising preliminary results. So there was a survey for the Veterinary Information Network survey. 79% of vets with clinical experience that have used CBD with their patients said that it's helpful for pain. Over 62% said that it was helpful for anxiety and then over 80% of these vets said that there was no negative consequences from using CBD. Separately, in a study published by the Frontiers in Veterinary Science found that 82.2% of veterinarians either agreed or strongly agreed that there are medicinal uses for CBD products for dogs from a medical standpoint. So in this video, I wanna go over what is CBD, the benefits of CBD, the use cases for CBD for dogs, potential risks, and then finally our experience. And by the way, all sources will be in the description below. So what is CBD? So CBD is a compound found in cannabis and it's been used by a few dog owners and vets to help with anxiety joint pain and even reduce inflammation because it's known to be anti-inflammatory and most cbd products are actually derived from hemp and also before we get started always make sure to consult a veterinarian with any doubts when using cbd and also always 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 check the ingredients but i'll get into that more in the risk section so cbd products for dogs do not and should not contain any thc because thc is actually toxic for dogs um and the thc is actually what makes your dog high so cbd does not give any sort of high for your dog and before i get into the benefits needless to say never Ever, ever ever give your dog more than recommended and also always start with a quite low dose as you would with any new food or anything like that just to be sure and safe so let's get into the benefits of cbd for your dog first of all i want to say that the scientific data backing the benefits of cbd is still in its early stages in recent years there's been a lot lot more especially as this market grows but there's plenty of promising anecdotal data and research studies already since the risks which i'll talk about in the next section are quite minimal and not severe slash lethal it's still considered very safe so the first benefit of CBD is for anxiety and stress. So how CBD works with this, and I'm not like a scientist or anything, but I've done a lot of research. So the CBD interacts with the endocannabinoid, I don't know if I'm saying that right, system of the dog's body. And it said that this helps with the production of serotonin, which is like the happy hormone and calms anxiety slash mood. I also read that the CBD interacts with different receptors. There's like specific receptors in the dog's body, also the human body. And this helps to, you know, soothe the dog's mood. The research on exactly how it helps the dog's anxiety is still not perfect and it's still not as in-depth as per se like how uh, how an actual drug would help a dog with severe anxiety but it again shows really promising results. The second benefit of CBD for dogs is to help with seizures like I said briefly earlier. A study at Colorado State University found promising results that might indicate that there's a correlation of the levels of CBD and also the size of reduction of seizures in dogs. So long story short they think that CBD could be related to lowering the amount of seizures that a dog gets. Some studies and researchers even go as far as to say CBD could replace you know, epilepsy medication for certain dogs, probably with lower intensities in the future, but it's too soon to say that for sure. This is really close to my heart because my last dog, Oreo, like I said before, had really bad seizures. He was on medication for actually like nine years of his life. And I'm not even gonna say the medication was bad. It literally saved his life. But still, I think it would be amazing if CBD is found in certain doses to be able to help instead of the medication, especially for like lower intensity cases, because no matter how amazing these drugs can be, CBD is a natural alternative. I think it would be awesome if we could find more research saying that it like helps seizures completely or even in addition to a lower dosage of these drugs. Also one more note on seizures and why I think this would be awesome if CBD could you know help more seizures is because epilepsy tends to be a lifelong condition and there's still very very little data on how genetically epilepsy is passed. I've actually done a lot of research on this and epilepsy can be something like my dog with Oreo where you can live with it for 10 years but some dogs even die from epilepsy at a young age so 
I'm very hopeful for CBD's role in possibly, you know, extending a dog's uh, lifespan. Another benefit of CBD oil for dogs is that it decreases pain for dogs with arthritis slash inflammation slash like joint pain, especially when your dog gets older. This time a study at Cornell University found that there was a decreased amount of pain felt by dogs when they were on CBD and that resulted in increased movement for especially elder dogs and dogs suffering from pain. And that's awesome. I mean, if CBD can help any dog with, you know, physical pain kind of overcome that pain even for a little bit during their day so that they can go on their fun walks or even play with other dogs that's awesome. Obviously great for their overall health to get some activity in and also great for the dog to not be suffering from pain all the time. I've actually read a lot of customer testimonials with elderly dogs use CBD oil and also give like turmeric paste to their dogs often and they've noticed that their elderly dogs are acting younger again and they're not so much in pain. I think that's beautiful. Another benefit of CBD is apparently heart health, which I didn't know this until I researched a ton. So again, this is early research, but this research has shown that CBD helps with heart health, mostly because of the long-term benefits of having a decreased level of stress and anxiety that CBD provides. So CBD can kind of lower your blood pressure, also slow down your heart rate for dogs that are severely stressed and anxious all the time. Also CBD helps a dog sleep, which I'll mention later. Um, and also the CBD helps with inflammation. So all of these factors kind of contribute to overall better heart health for dogs when using CBD. Appetite and nausea suppressing is also a benefit of CBD. So CBD has been found to help dogs have an increase in appetite and also kind of suppress their nausea temporarily. And this is obviously no, no elaboration needed, obviously a great thing for certain dogs that are in need of such you know, such things. Another really interesting benefit of CBD oil is allergy relief. CBD has been found by several studies to help with allergies, especially like skin allergies, like swelling skin, itchy skin. Again, because the interaction of the CBD with the endocannabinoid system. Someone comment below if I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> Lots of owners have especially seen that incorporating CBD oil into their dog's diet helps them with their, you know, itchy skin and their skin health has just improved greatly. So now that I've gone over the benefits of CBD oil, how would you use Use this um, in your real life? How can you incorporate these benefits? So I've come up with a few use cases, obviously not all the use cases, but some that I think could apply to the majority of dog owners. So one really interesting use case that I want to talk about is with aggression. So a lot of dog owners have quote unquote aggressive dogs. And when we really dive into what aggressive dogs are, it's not like they are actually aggressive in the way that they want to hurt other dogs or other people. In fact, the majority of aggression in dogs comes out of fear and anxiety or stress. So CBD oil can be used in combination with training like desensitization and counter conditioning to help with aggressive dogs or even reactive dogs. This is super interesting because I've done a lot of research on this too and I found that this actually is like a thing that people do. But before I even saw this research, I thought to myself, oh, I should try CBD for Mochi because sometimes he's a bit dog aggressive. This comes out of trauma from being attacked. So Mochi has a lot of anxiety with certain dogs, especially male dogs. So the other day I tried giving him some CBD oil and I don't know if it was just the CBD oil, combination of a few things, but it was amazing. I'll get into that more in our last section where I talk about our experience with CBD. Another amazing use case of CBD is for dogs that are going through chronic illnesses or even cancer with alleviating some of the symptoms. Even though CBD doesn't actually cure cancer or cure illnesses, it helps to alleviate the pain that a lot of dogs are going through when they're going through these really rough illnesses and it helps with stress, anxiety, and the discomfort associated with going through such a tough illness. And again, it doesn't mean that CBD would cure your dog of like, such a sad you know cancer or illness or something like that but alleviating symptoms can do miracles for your dog's you know just mental health and also from feeling more calm less anxious sleeping better it could obviously contribute to overall health of your dog and help them to get better faster and that brings me to my next point where cbd can be used for dogs to help them sleep usually if a dog is having trouble like fully sleeping at night or even relaxing you know dogs should like a normal healthy dog should be sleeping at night, just like humans do. They might wake up way earlier than you, but they should be sleeping pretty, you know, deeply at night. So if your dog doesn't do that or has trouble doing that, CBD can really address the underlying root of this because usually if your dog doesn't sleep, it's because of anxiety or fear or just stress like, or pain. So by giving them CBD before nighttime, that can help address some of those 
you know, uncomfortable things and help them sleep better at night. And again, that contributes to an overall healthier dog, a more rested dog. Another use case, and I think this would apply to a lot of dogs and dog owners watching, is separation anxiety. So I don't really need to go too far into this because I've said like 10 times how CBD helps with anxiety. But separation anxiety is just a form of anxiety. They get anxiety when you're not there or when their favorite person's not there, whatever. So by giving a little bit of CBD before you leave for a few hours could do miracles. You could try it out. But either way, I think that CBD is a great thing to try for dogs that have severe separation anxiety obviously in combination with training so again desensitization counter conditioning but cbd would be a great supplement if you wanted to try that another use case is for travel so i mentioned before that like mochi i originally thought of cbd because he gets a bit of anxiety traveling for long times in the car but another reason why i actually got into cbd is because so long story short we are moving overseas within the next one or two years with mochi and i strongly believe that these kind of high stress events should be prepared for years in advance so that's what we've been doing so mochi will have to fly in the cargo hold he's not a service dog he's not small enough to fly with us in cabin and from tons of research that i've done i found out that dogs in cargo hold cannot be sedated legally and this is because of health reasons like it's not safe for a dog to be sedated in the cargo hold because they can't breathe or adjust to the altitude if they're knocked out. So I came across CBD, which is one of the only options where it doesn't sedate your dog, but it does calm them down a lot. And I think, you know, CBD is great in that way because it's an alternative to sedating them, which is not allowed. You can still help them somehow um, try to relax in such a stressful event. Another use case would be to supplement an epilepsy medication that your dog is on. Again, this is definitely something to ask your vet because this becomes, you know, very serious when you're dealing with such a disease. Just talk to your vet about this. This is not advice for me, but it's something that you can talk about in a conversation with your vet. And lastly, a really important use case is during, you know, high stress like loud events like fireworks and storms a lot of dogs are scared of fireworks because they're so loud in the same way that they're scared of storms or in the same way that they're scared when there's a really loud party going on somewhere and these kind of cases are a perfect time for them to try cbd because it will help them relax and you know instead of during fireworks your dog having to cry and shake under the bed maybe they would even be able to sleep through it if they feel less anxious less fearful when it comes to risks of cbd itself there really aren't that many risks the more risks come with the fact that the cbd industry for pets is not regulated yet so let, let's get into that actual CBD risks first and then the risks of buying a CBD product. So the first health risk that's possible is dry mouth. Apparently some studies have found that too much CBD can result in a dry mouth for dogs. Just something to look out for, nothing too scary. Another possible side effect is if your dog's blood pressure drops too fast that they could get a little bit lightheaded. Again, not something too serious, just like a possible risk. And lastly, the most important risk I would say for CBD is possible accidental sedation. So when you give your dog too much CBD then is like or recommended, some research has found that it can actually sedate your dog. So they would go into like a deep sleep like if they were going under. This is not the purpose of CBD. CBD should not be used to try to sedate your dog so don't go in such high quantities that this would happen but obviously you shouldn't be doing this anyway because you should always stick to the recommended dose anyway so although an overdose on CBD would require like a crazy amount of CBD a lot of studies say that even then if they were to overdose it still wouldn't be lethal to the dog in most cases but still never give too much there's just no point it's also super expensive so just don't do it and always follow the proper instructions according to your dog's size and breed and all that kind of stuff so the other risks come not with like the actual health risks of CBD because there aren't that many serious ones there but it comes to the fact that CBD pet products are not regulated so what that means is hypothetically someone can make a CBD product even though the quality of the product is not up to par the ingredients are not great so what this means is that you have to do a little bit of extra homework on which CBD oil or treats you buy while we're on the subject by the way I prefer CBD oil as do a lot of researchers because this is like the purest form and you don't know what's in the treats just easier to get the oil but up to you. So the first thing to do to avoid this risk of the unregulated market is to always look for organic products. Always check the ingredients. Again, always make sure that it's without THC. You do not want something that's like part THC, part CBD. No, no, no. We want pure CBD. And just overall, just research, research, research before buying. You can do tons of research on CBD for dogs on Google. There's a lot of actual studies done by actual research at universities and labs and stuff like that. And also finally check the customer testimonials, especially a brand that has like tens and thousands of happy customers using it for their dog. It usually has like vet testimonials, also stuff like that. Just look into it. It's not like, I don't want to make it sound scary to buy CBD because it's unregulated. There's definitely a lot of great brands out there, but just it 
a little bit more responsibility falls on you as the owner to find the perfect product rather than if you were to buy something that's heavily regulated by like the FDA. So finally, I wanted to end this video with kind of our experience with CBD. I'll keep it short, but I definitely wanna go into you know, how I felt using it. So first of all, the brand I currently use is Swiss FX. This is in Europe. I don't know if they have this in the US, but there's plenty of US brands, all, probably more US brands because there's still like a weird connotation as if it's a drug. And yeah, so the current one is really nice and it's with salmon oil, all natural, really great. It's a bit more expensive. And yeah, I don't like CBD treats. I don't like how there's like other stuff in there that we don't need, so I get the oil, but yeah, some brands have CBD treats and oil. So yeah, some personal anecdotes with using CBD. One was with Mochi in the car. Um, after we tried CBD, I definitely noticed a big change in him. He stopped panting the whole eight hours. We usually drive eight hours from this where we live to my boyfriend's parents' house. With the CBD mochi, he's way better. He doesn't pant, he actually just relaxes, sleeps on the car ride. Secondly, we used the CBD oil on New Year's Eve. So actually we stayed home with Mochi until 1 a.m. because we wanted to be with him for the most intense, loudest part of the fireworks. But yeah, before the fireworks, he gave him some CBD. He was so calm during the fireworks, I was actually shocked. Um, I even said to my boyfriend, like, is this really CBD? Cause it was so crazy, like he's usually so terrified. Um, but yeah, I think it was mostly due to the CBD. Also, we exercised him a ton before. And then we left at 1 a.m. to go to like a New Year's thing. And there was still like a few fireworks in the distance, but we had like a camera on him and he was totally chill. No shaking, no barking, totally fine. Like it was crazy. And lastly, this is my most, uh, this is the most impressed I've ever been <laughs> with CBD. And again, it's not all because of CBD, but we used CBD for Mochi before we went on a play date with my boyfriend's friend's dog, who is an intact male dog, one years old. So Mochi does not like intact males usually, especially a one year old male dog who has all those hormones and he's intact. It would have never worked with Mochi, but we were like, okay, let's give it a try. They, they met a few times as puppies, but maybe like it'll be better now. So we go meet him yesterday. Mochi growls at first, and then we went on a walk with them. We were able to let them off leash. They were playing, they were having so much fun and Mochi just seemed way less on edge. And again, this probably isn't all because of CBD oil. Probably Mochi just matches with this dog really well. You know, what, this specific dog doesn't mean Mochi will be nice to every intact male dog, but I just think that it's amazing. And again, because the risks of CBD are so low, in the dosage I give Mochi is like the minimum one, so I don't even give him that much. I just feel really great giving it to him when he needs it. Mochi's not an elder dog. He doesn't have like severe anxiety usually. He only has situational anxiety. So I'm not gonna give it to him every day. I just don't think that's necessary for him. But using it, you know, once every few months for such occasions, I think is a great kind of, you know, trick to have up my sleeve because it's just been amazing. I mean, again, the risks are low, the benefits are great. I've had great experiences with it and I'm still gonna use it when I need it in the future for sure. I've talked a lot in this video how CBD can help dogs with anxiety. So if you're more interested in the training aspect of dogs with anxiety who maybe are reactive, check out the video linked here on the screen.